hey, do you struggle when it comes to finishing your song? And if you finish your song, do you release your song? In this video, I wanna give you a simple seven-step outline on how to release your song in as little as four weeks. Let's jump in. So this is just gonna be an overview of how I have released music in the past and things I've found to be successful and have helped me release music both from my own music as well as artists I've worked with. So step number one is gonna to be to plan your song release. So in this phase, you're gonna be thinking about what is your timeline? Who do you wanna have on your song? Where do you wanna record your song? What is the budget for your song? So we're gonna be talking about these things in the next steps, and I encourage you to stick around to the end of the video to hear all these steps. So step number two is the actual song creation phase, and this is my favorite part. Um, in this phase, you're gonna be actually writing your song, and for this part, I think it's helpful to think about, you know, are you gonna be writing your song yourself as a solo artist? Um, are you going to be with a band or are you going to be collaborating, kind of working with other people throughout this process? I think that you can actually, your song can be elevated, taken to the next level if you bring a few other extra people on and kind of help you with the process. Because um, some of the things in this phase that make for a successful song are one, a great chord progression, uh, two, a super catchy melody or hook to your song, along with that goes lyrics. Um, the next thing to think about is your arrangement. You know, is it verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, or is it some other arrangement that you have in your song? Uh, and lastly, what kind of instrumentation? You know, what are you going to have drums or guitars or bass or uh, just piano and vocal? So think about this arrangement in this phase. And you may be really good at one or two or three or four of these parts, but um, to find someone who might be able to help you and you can trust, uh, collaborate just to to bounce some ideas off is a really good idea uh, in this stage of the game. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Eric Miller and I help guitar players and independent musicians record and produce their own music. So if you're finding value in this video, I would so appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Okay, the third step is going to be practicing and performing your song. So a good rule of thumb is, is the better your song is rehearsed, the better it is practiced, the better the recording of the song is gonna come out. So that might be uh, practicing it with your band or practicing it by yourself. It's gonna so help you to rehearse and get that song down. Uh, the other thing you wanna think about is who you're gonna bring onto the song. In particular, if you're gonna have a different vocalist that's gonna be featured um, or another instrumentalist uh, playing another part. So that's something to consider in this stage because one thing you wanna think about is what key your song is gonna be in. You know, Is it gonna be in a female range um, or is it gonna be in a male range for vocals? So that's something you're gonna wanna work out ahead of time in this stage. Okay, so the fourth stage is going to be recording your song. And basically in this stage, you are going to be either taking it to another studio to record or record it at your own home studio. Um, if you're going to another studio, a couple things to think about is just to make sure that you have um, a good relationship with that producer or the engineer that's gonna be working with you. You wanna make sure that you've heard some of their other material they've um, released and recorded and also that you're just comfortable sharing your music with them because you know you're going to be a little bit vulnerable just putting your music out there and you want to have a respect and a good relationship with that producer um, if you are going to be recording it yourself and you have your home own studio set up that's awesome totally encourage that and um, if you're just getting started with that, I wanna encourage you to download my free guide. It's a five-step guide to recording pro music from your own st home studio. It will help you get set up with minimal equipment and getting some great sounds from your home studio. So get that guide by clicking the link below or visit millermusic.co. Okay, so the fifth step is going to be to mix your song and to master your song, all right? So mixing your song, what does that mean? That in, means basically all the levels are correct. So the drums aren't too loud, the vocals you can hear just right. Um, so the, all the levels of the music are really great. Uh, next, that involves things like panning, things like adding different effects, reverb, delay, compression, EQ um, to your tracks just to make it pop, to make it sound really great. Okay, mastering is going to be making sure your song as a whole sounds really great together um, so that it's EQ'd and 
compressed as a whole song, as a whole track. Uh, the other thing that mastering does is make sure it's the proper loudness, okay? This is important for streaming platforms, so making sure it's competitive with other songs. Now, I want to make sure that you guys have enough tools in this. This is a pretty uh, big step if you have your own home studio, so I have a couple playlists down below specifically on mixing and mastering. You can check those out in the description below. Okay, so step number six is going to be releasing your music. And for this one, you're going to be putting it up to a, a platform so that it releases it to all streaming platforms, okay? So for this, I really recommend DistroKid um, as a great platform to do that. So what, what it'll do is it's $20 per year, and basically you can upload your music to that, and you upload your album art in addition to your song and um, it will just put it out to all the streaming platforms. So it's, it's super handy and it's pretty quick too. It, it's either you know as little as two weeks, but more like four weeks is, is a good time to recommend for that. Now for your album artwork, you wanna think about um, having a basic, a nice picture, you know, if it's a solo picture just of yourself or if you want to get more artistic with the album artwork. But basically there's a certain requirement. You want to have it 300 by 300 PSI. Um, it's a basically a perfect square for your album artwork. That's a really good thing to think about, album artwork and uploading it to a streaming platform. Okay, so the last step in the one of the most important steps is promoting your song. You know, this is a, a, a part in the process where I think a lot of artists might burn out after they've recorded their song. They just want to get it out there. But in the step before, in step um, in releasing your music, uh, you're going to choose a start date or, or a, a basically a release date for your song. And that's going to be, let's say it's four weeks out. In this stage, in the seventh stage, you want to start telling people, telling your fans, telling your uh, lists, telling and social media, sharing with people that basically you have a song coming out in four weeks. You're really excited to share it. Maybe give a little bit of teasers about the song. You can tell a little bit about the backstory of the song. Just getting people excited, ready to listen to it so that when you do release the song, the song is available, um, people are excited. They're wanna gonna play it. They're wanna gonna listen to it, all right? And then another little quick tip is to share your song. Once it's released, share it with other um, owners of playlists, say on Spotify or YouTube, and say, hey, can you share my song on your playlist? This will help to get your um, song played more times and be out to more people than just your own uh, lists, your own you know, social media followers. All right, just to recap, step one is planning. Step two is songwriting. Step three is practicing your song. Step four is recording your song. Step five is mixing and mastering your song. Step six is releasing. And step seven is promoting. Hey, I hope you found value in this video. I hope it inspired you to release your music. And I'll see you on the next video.